Welcome back to another episode of the Crypto Serpent. And if you do enjoy the videos, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse meets with Georgian Prime Minister to discuss adoption of blockchain. There's a lot going on at the moment out there. And the World Economic Forum have been very interesting lately to follow. They've spoken well around blockchain and crypto but yet not so much about Bitcoin. In fact, saying that, you know, it's doesn't, they don't see it long term having a big role. Now, some of you have been following this channel since March 21. And some of you may not know that I do not have any Bitcoin in my portfolio, which for the Bitcoin Maximus, oh, it's like, it's like driving a knife through their chest. How could you not have Bitcoin in your portfolio? Well, I don't know about you, but I don't really carry a Nokia 3310 in my pocket either. So it's kind of like, what is the purpose? I understand that it was the first and it was the catalyst and it was mighty at its time and there is only 21 million that were gonna be done and a story of wealth and blah, 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 blah. Sorry, it's just my, it's just a personal opinion. It's not financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. But let me tell you something. We are one super mega computer away from that code being cracked and Bitcoin going to zero. Because if it is just a store of value, because let's face it, that's all it is, right? I mean, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have any utility. It can't, it's too slow. So the question to you, what happens when it gets cracked? Because I'll tell you what happened to Alcatraz, right? It was the world's safest prison. And then it got, and then somebody ex escaped. And all of a sudden, it was no longer worth anything. So just be mindful, be mindful. Let the Nokia story remind us that as mighty as a company can be, a product can be, a software, Bitcoin as a software can be, doesn't mean that it's going to be number one forever. Now, in, in terms of XRP, the utility, World Economic Forum, ISO 20022, and everything else that is coming I think the stage is set for, I mean, they've literally told us, the feds have told us what is about to happen. And that is that the ISO 20022 projects will, will run the financial system. And so does Ripple CEO Brad Allinghouse meeting with Georgian Prime Minister to discuss adoption of blockchain, surprise me? No. When on-demand liquidity kicks in, the on-demand liquidity hub, the Ripple K settling, win or a loss, sorry, win or a settlement, <laughs> win or a settlement, um, is that gonna surprise me? No. When Ripple IPOs, is that going to surprise me? No, because I already know this. When we see double digits, is that going? No, it's not. I mean, I'm gonna be excited, of course, I'm gonna be happy for you. Um, you know, the holders, the believers. But right now, where we're going and what, what is happening at the moment, I don't bring good news because I do see the market taking another dump. And I need to, you know, I need to tell you about it because I mean, the way that I'm seeing it at the moment is that we could be seeing 23,000 big, big Bitcoin. We could. And it's important to, to acknowledge the charts and to, and to understand what is, what is at play at the moment. And like I said, I don't think it's over. I think we've got one, another giant push down before we really start to kick off. But I wanted to make sure you guys are aware and up to date with those kind of things. In Brazil, you can now use ADA, XRP and Matic to pay for real estate purchases. So we're starting to see the next phase of crypto and blockchain. 
starting early days early days we knew 2022 was going to be disruptive we knew that there were going to be problems and there were plenty of problems plenty and they're going to continue to be for a little bit longer until we start to really kick off and momentum shifts so be mindful because we're not over yet when it comes to drops now I mean, I mean, this guy, CIO, Bitcoin price could fall to 8,000. Yeah, no, look, I, I I, disagree. You know, this guy said last December that Bitcoin could be worth 400,000. Now he's saying that it could go all the way down to four, to, to eight. Well, he was wrong about 400 by a 4X, not actually more, more of like 4.5X. And I think he's wrong, again, roughly, you know, roughly the same amount. You know, he said 8,000 and, um, you know, I think that, you know, like a 23,000 is really where we're going to see the bottom of, of this, uh, of this bear run. And then we're going to start to go to, to move up. So, you know, again, that's the problem with like, you know, having multiple sources that you listen to multiple people telling you in your ear, 8,000, 4,000, 2,000, 20,000, 32,000. Right, listen to all of us, but then you have to be the judge and make your own judgment um, according to your portfolio and to your needs. Now, SEC wants to prevent XRP holders from assisting the court. <laughs> surprise, surprise. I mean, anything, everything that they can do in their power, they will. Of course. I mean, they, they too want to win. It's just that it's not going to happen. It can't happen. It's impossible. And again, it's not financial advice, I'm not financial advice, I'm just looking at the facts and I'm like, how, how, how do they win? I don't see it. Now, half a billion XRP sold by Jeb um, McCaleb since January. Now, it looks like if it continues to trend, then in the next 40 days, his account could go down to zero. Some people say it's exciting news. And I think, I think look, it would be good to finally get rid of him. I think that, I think that would be, that would be positive. Now, XRP price prompts fears amongst investors as technical signal sell-off. So, it's interesting what FX Street are going on here to talk about. And again, I do tend to agree that we are going to be going back into the 30s. Um, may even touch a 29 cents, but we'll, we'll talk about that in a, in a little bit. Now, Ripple launches veiled threat to sub Pona, Amy Star, and all of those... As if the SEC fails to confirm public statements made by them. Now, this is good. This is really good. It is far less expensive and burdensome for the SEC to undertake this inquiry for the limited purpose of confirming that a recording is authentic than for defendants to be forced to sub poignant these individuals. I told you, XRP lawyers are going to go on the attack. It's going to be ferocious. But this is, this is going to end so bad for the SEC that it's not even funny. And you know, we're going to be here with a popcorn watching all of it. Ripple has been meeting with the SEC since 2013 about XRP and has not been once told that XRP could be a security. This is facts. This isn't, you know, Crypto Serpent coming here. This is crystal clear facts. How do you wake up one day and say security when... You've had since 2013 to call to call it out. And why do it two days before you quit? And a new person is about to arrive. Two days before Christmas. Come on. Could it be more of a joke, even if you wanted it to be? So yes, Jed's account could be 40 to 70 days left. Jed was one of the former founding uh, partners. That's why he holds such a large amount of XRP. But I think it'll be good. It'll be good to finally see this account go to go to zero. Now, twenty-eight to thirty cents flat is a real possibility. Like I said, I'm never sugarcoat it with you guys. I always keep it one hundred. It is a genuine opportunity at the moment that we could be seeing those prices. Could is a big question mark. Because the way that I'm seeing it at the moment, the the way that the market structure is going, it looks like a bearish trend. A bearish trend that is not finished will be finished soon but it still has room to go down when if when it can when it finishes the falling wedge then it will skyrocket up but it's not finished yet and that gives me that 
perspective that it is going to go and it's going to go down a little bit more before we start to really go up and then we'll be into a multi-year bull run now that's exciting really exciting so how far 28 cents if we are to talk, if we are to drop we'll drop to 28 cents that's my perspective that's how i'm interpreting the charts again it's not financial advisor not a financial advisor but we could be seeing those numbers 33 as well could be the but more like a 28 cents could be the the catalyst before we start to go up now if you did learn something new today don't forget to get, uh, hit that subscribe button as always thank you and i look forward to see you tomorrow night